Hello again from AM Builds. Just a quick one this time about a timber joiner which we made to join 63 by 38 millimeter CLS or ALS or whatever you call it in your location. We're making a four section patio enclosure in which to tidy away our patio items and keep the worst of the Scottish weather off them. Hopefully we'll present a video about this in a wee while. The enclosure simply sits on the patio, not fixed down, and therefore the openings require to be intrinsically stable. We have a nice new ceramic barbecue awaiting more socially safe times, but it's extremely heavy and therefore we needed a removable bottom to its section, so it could be trundled out for use and back in to park for next time. This is what we came up with. It's 3D printed in PETG. If printing for outside, don't use PLA as it is biodegradable and will fail in short order. Before use, the appropriate sides are countersunk. If I was making lots of them, I might re-engineer the print to include chamfered holes, but the handful I've used here, manually countersinking has not been a great hardship. I've rigged this up on my bench to mimic a situation where there is an opening to be bridged and no access from out with the opening. If working on your own or where requiring an accurate length is difficult, you can initially cut your timber to fit the opening so it's a push fit allowing adjustments and marking of the finalised location. Once the sides are marked, cut 20mm off your cross piece. Holding the joiner assembled, screw the tenon into the end of the cross piece. Here I demonstrate on the bench with a short piece of CLS for viewers' convenience. Using a spare tenon, assemble the joiner and screw the mortise section to the timber legs. In essence, it creates a drop in dovetail. It's designed to be used with thin screws 3.5mm by 35 to 40mm long so as not to crack the wood as many of the screws are near the edges. Once all the screws are in, simply use the end of your driver to pop out the loose tenon. If it's to be demountable, apply a little bit of dry bicycle lube to facilitate removal. If it's to be fixed permanently, simply tap into place with a mallet. Once it's lubricated, you can see how easy it is to put in and out. You can see it's quite a robust construction and I would wager stronger than toenailed screws or pocket screws. We were so pleased with the ease, strength and neatness of the system, we've used them in other places in the patio unit, as you will see when we get the video finished. We've even expanded the idea to a heavy duty version to be fitted to the patio enclosure for a lifting section. It's not fine joinery, but a single, simple device that, assuming you have access to 3D printing, makes a quick, flexible and easy way of joining or adding in a timber. I've made the design freely available using the link below and please feel free to try it out. Once again my thanks go to my son Malcolm for the production of this video and I hope you found it interesting. If you have and you've yet to subscribe please do so and ring the notification bell. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. We've a few things on the go at the moment and hopefully we'll have more videos for you soon. Goodbye!